noticeably faster, more responsive, and better than before. Okay, so changed out the lace gate for a Turbo Smart one we had. Just had to modify the arm to fit. There's about a 16 PSI worth of spring in there, which we still have ethanol in here, but the gasoline tune for tune two was 18 PSI. So we really don't need to change the base tune too much. Our just lowest tune profile that we had, we'll just have to make sure that that fuel map is the same as the 18 PSI one. We're not increasing boost on maps one and two. I'm going to reduce timing, base timing, on map one, which is supposed to be our low power gasoline tune, just so that we have a lower power area to start from. This right here, we're gonna see if it changes our spool rate. That's the big thing. If on the first couple of hits, I see no change in the spool rate, then I'll just pop this wastegate out and put the other one back in. No harm, no foul. Um, we do have a plan. It is the next day. We did make a plan to put a uh, return style fuel system in this thing, but it's not going to happen for another week or so because this car is going to a car show. Yes, as dirty as it is, it's getting a whole external makeover this week. Um, it's going to a car show next weekend. So we're kind of finishing up today and then he's going to take it to that and he's going to bring it back and then we're going to continue working on stuff after that. We're also going to be putting a uh, fan on here. We've determined that we're doing that. So this is kind of all temporary and a little bit of testing to see exactly where we end up. So let's see how it goes. All right, wastegate spring only. Let's see what it does. So this is a log from before, it took, to get to 17 pounds of boost, it took until about 4,900 RPM. And this is the pull we just did, we're going to look for 17 pounds, I guess 16 would be a better reference, it was 43, 16, 16, 47, 43, so spooling out faster, that's for sure need to change a whole lot of the fuel system. I mean, we have to add a little in here, which we'll verify on the gas tune at a later date. I have the dyno recording. exactly one to one because it's like two pounds of boost peak difference but we do have a little bit more torque down here a little bit um, so I'm gonna leave this wastegate spring in here it's fine um, so now what I'm gonna do is move on up to the big power tune and see if we can get that 200 number on this fuel system just so when he goes to show this thing off he can say it is a 200 horsepower car so let's uh, see what we can do yeah, as mentioned in the last video we're running into a fueling thing you can watch the last video for a full explanation on it so what i did is i went into our meth injection system which is nitrous duty cycle in this case uh, i have to update the firmware on this to get the meth injection system on it i bumped it up so we're going to use 50 percent and we're gonna see what that does to our fuel trim adjustments um, and, and see if the thing will let me add, you know, a couple degrees timing. I saw I was really trying 
Might have done it. All right, so the weather information is accurate. 67 degrees in the shop right now, 48% humidity. So it's 197.5. Now, I hate chasing a number because it's not supposed to be about a number, but I really want to get this guy to 200 so we can say that he's got 200. Uh, so I'm going to look over the data, see where we're at, and see if I can squeeze a little bit more out of it. So without the rising rate fuel system, we're kind of we're kind of tapped. Um, our injector duty cycle is completely maxed out. It was going a bit lean towards the end of that pull, but I'll be honest, it's not knocking or anything like that. And this, this is the same boost we finished with yesterday and it made, you know, 11 more horsepower. And I'm only at 65% duty cycle on the meth injection. So I just bumped it to 100% on this nozzle size, which is a fairly small nozzle. And I'm gonna do one more, and we're gonna see what the air fuel ratio does. Um, these things run really lean from the factory. I, I haven't been running it as lean as it does in the factory. They run 19 pounds of boost stock, and they run it on a gasoline air fuel ratio of like 13, which sketches me out, but it's what they do. Um, and where, we're not even at that, plus we're on ethanol, so we're gonna try it, we're gonna see what happens. I mean, I hate chasing numbers, but in this particular instance, that's, you know, we're three horsepower away, so I just turned the meth up, and we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, so that's uh that's pretty well maxed out um i mean i'm gonna have him do a hit on the street obviously to verify it's all gonna work fine uh we right here is our meth injection percentage right here is our injector duty cycle this is our fuel pressure boost is up here and air fuel correction is at orange so you can see as our injector duty cycle is going up our correction is starting to rise and our air fuel ratio is not getting worse. I'm just that's going to right there. Um, the meth injection is definitely compensating for it a bit. This is a 70 30 mix. Um, it took it fine. Definitely don't recommend doing this. <laughs> uh, that was one pound of boost less than the previous run. So that was 34 ish pounds boost. So. I mean, it takes it fine. There's no smoke. There's the clutch is not slipping or anything like that. So that is officially a 200 horsepower smart 4.2 um, with more left on the table. Uh, you can see this turbo is definitely big, um, which we are going to do a nitro system to get to spool up faster. Um, the the owner and I spoke again this morning about that, and that's definitely happening. Uh, that will be part of the next round that we do in a week or two. But that is, that's a pretty nice graph. It's kind of like a supercharger graph. Um, so if we compare that to yesterday on the 8 PSI spring, the 191, you'll see, you know, where we lost a little tiny bit in the mid, which might just be temperature, because I let the car sit when we did this last pull. But it's not a noticeable amount. I also don't have a ton of timing in the middle of it right now. I pulled it out to try to keep everything cool. But 
that's that's 200 horsepower so i'm gonna send this one off and then in a week hopefully a week um we will have it back here pull the fuel tank out upgrade the fuel system and slap a little nitrous in it and see what it does Looking for a ride in the big tune and did your first pull opinion it's way noticeably faster more responsive and better than before Wait, like <laughs> night <and> fucking day <laughs> he was he did a pull and i was sitting here waiting for him and i just hear Let's look at the dialogue.